You have been convicted of a crime you did not want to commit. A crime of the highest degree. You have been exiled from your brethren and left to rot with the lowest of the low. In this place, there is no redemption. You are the base denominator of all, only to be taken from your cell in the most extreme of circumstances. You have no friends, no family. This is your prison. This is your home. This is your fate. Welcome to Dice Jail. Previously on Live from Dice Jail, the party finally got to go to sleep after returning to town at around 6 in the morning. Uh, and, you know, the next day, they took the next day, reasonably enough, as an opportunity to rest up, heal up, uh, do some research. Oberyn finally got his Elven Curve Blade, and with the help of a shopkeeper by the name of Morla Bint, uh, transferred the runes from his smoking sword onto the new curved blade. The party is now all rested up and ready to get back to work. So let's uh, let's jump right back into it. Tis the morning. Y'all have awakened. What y'all doing? Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. After breakfast, what y'all doing? <laughs> uh, probably going to Rin's. All right. So, you make your way over to Rin's. And uh, as you walk in, she's like, Ah, yes. I knew you would be here. Remy is still asleep. Of course he is. We should let him he, rest up. You can just yes. keep him. Don't worry, he has not left that same exact spot on my floor. Actually, I think he moved three inches to the right. Um, we don't need him back, actually, if you feel attached. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure I would not be able to stop him from coming back. Um, right, so... All right, I am assuming you are all here for healing. And to buy healing objects. Yes. And to buy healing objects, of course, of course. Right. I don't need so, any healing. That is good. Would you like any healing objects? Well, I still have some. Good. Oh. Also good. Yes. I have a silver bracelet that I would like to sell you. I see. Right, I believe we discussed this briefly before. It is worth five gold pieces to me. Yes. All right, I will take that off your hands. Thank you. All right. You now have five gold pieces from that. And you may remove that from your inventory. Very nice. 
and Rin is also going to do an area of effect heal um, on all of you. So all of you regain six hit points. Oh, I'm back to full. Back to full. All right. We aren't immediately dying. <laughs> All right. Now, what healing items might I sell you this morning? All right. Uh, remind me. Remind me what what we're looking at. What the the different things you have and the different costs are. Okay. So. So. A healing potion. There is a minor healing potion, which is what you usually buy. Those are four gold pieces each. A lesser healing potion is more than twice as powerful and costs 12 gold pieces. Um, and then this is, no offense, definitely outside of your price range, and I only have a few in stock right now. Um, a moderate healing potion uh, costs 50 gold pieces. And there are also elixirs of life. Um, the minor elixir of life costs three gold pieces. The lesser elixir of life, which is uh, more than three times as powerful, costs 30 gold pieces. Um, those are the two healing objects you have been able to you have been purchasing from me are elixirs of life and potions of healing okay um I'm gonna buy one lesser healing potion it's 12 okay. gold right yes okay I, I also do sell, um, you know, uh, certain magic items as well, besides potions. Well, what have you got? Well, wands, for example. I have a few wands and staves and other such things. Nothing too fancy. But, um... Depends on what you are looking for. What do you have in the healing variety? I could sell you a wand of heal. How much would that be? 60 gold pieces. For a first level wand of heal. Even if I don't buy the lesser potion, I only have 26. Yes. These are not inexpensive, I know. We'll, uh, revisit, hopefully, at some point. Fair enough. Let me see if I can add this lesser healing potion and then... No, I'll just buy three of the small ones. Okay. You now have three additional minor healing potions. Does anyone else wish to buy any potions or other items? I'm good right now. I want to save my money, but I feel like I'm going to end up having to use my healing potions again. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a potion or two. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna, how much are minor healing? Four. I'll buy two. All right. I just say... Yeah, have you, have you been in a dogfight <laughs> with us? Yeah, I'm going to buy two as well. <laughs> I can't Good afford call. to finance the entire party's healing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work, guys. You just hear Remy groaning from the other room. Healing. I'm going to kick that little rat man while he's down. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> you, Petro runs into the other room and you all just hear, Ow! <laughs> Petra walks back with blood covering her foot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I did Petra. say I would make him into boots. 
<laughs> it's happening. Hunter is an old man. You can't just kick an old man while he's down. That fucking old man destroyed our healing. I know, but that doesn't justify just like beating the shit out of him. You just need to just beat him, not beat the shit out of him. He has, well... a, very, he has a very punchable face. <laughs> he does. Just be lucky that the two of you weren't on my list of people to make clothing out of. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that is Petra. I won't lie to you. And she puts her friend puts her hand on your shoulder. That is very um. You sound like a serial killer. <laughs> it's been such a long week, Rin. Pet, pet, and she pats you on the head. <laughs> Rin, you, you live in Otari, right? Oh, sorry, not not Rin. Sorry, Petra. In like the abstract, I wasn't. I haven't always lived here. Okay. Why? I don't know. I'm just curious if like you have a criminal history here. <laughs> you don't what need to know statement. about my past. I was just curious since we were all working together for a week, you know. You seem like yeah, an interesting a person. Week. You don't need to know things about oh. me. Oh, come on. You're such an interesting person, too. It feels like, you know, we're missing out. I'm sure you are. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so, what y'all doing now? Guess we go back to the stupid tower. We go back to the tower. Oh, wait, hold on. Da, 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 da. Pause, pause. Before we go. Oh, Rin. You have anything that sets things on fire? Um, sure. Oh, yes. you, what you do? Uh, nothing crazy. I have flint and steel. Um, oh, Rin uh, got another portal. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I, I happen to have a bunch of obsidian blocks here. Um, <laughs> um, I also have this weird pig that blows up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 it depends on what you are looking for. I most likely have something. Let's say there was a vampire, aberrant vampire. It was like a foamy mist. And you need to set it on fire. I could sell you alchemist's fire. You have that. Yes. Oh, I do. How much? How much? Uh, for lesser alchemist fire, three gold per bottle. Three gold per bottle. Yes. Like how much? Let's say on like a D4 to D6 scale, how much? Uh, if you're going to roll a dice, how much damage would it deal? Um, 1d8 fire damage plus 1 persistent fire damage and 1 splash fire damage. FYI, guys, that's more damage than, like, one of my weapons deals. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds even... about right. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bomb. Yeah, it's a bomb. All right, um... And you said how much for each one? Three gold for each? Three gold per lesser. Uh, I also have a small stock of moderate alchemist fire, um, which is ten gold pieces each. We'll take um, lesser ones. I'll take two of them. All right. There you are. All right. Two I'll give you 60 silver fire. pieces. I just have randomly silver pieces in my pocket I need to get rid of. All right, then. Can I get any of you anything else? That was loud. Sorry. Uh, you know, Rin, I, I think that I'm all set. But thank you. All right. All right. So. Y'all make your way. He's back over to Gauntlet again. Um... So, here you are, 20 minutes later, around 9.30 in the morning, back at the gatehouse. 
Oh, Petra's oh, torch is still lit up on her belt, giving a strange blue glow to the entire environment. We need to set the mood. Where's Alchemist Fire? I can't find it in my inventory. Uh, if you go into consumables, you yeah, lost it already. Sorry about. Yeah, it. no, I only get. I, there's nothing. He just dropped it in the forest, and now there's a massive uh, fucking forest fire. Shit, oh, I got shit, alcohol shit. and arrows. Oh god. Hold on. Oh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Do your thing. Um, well, I don't really have much more thing to do. <laughs> All right. I found. Where do we want to go? Okay. Uh. Hmm. It's in weapons. Oh, it's in what? Okay. Because right, because they're bombs. Ah. Okay. Bombs are a type of weapon. Are are we going upstairs? Are yeah, we let's go. The thing. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. So you're moving over to the uh. Just straight straight through to the tower. I suppose so. All right. You enter the area. I'll just I'll just for the sake of simplicity bring you on over there. All appears for the most part as you left it. Anything notable about that for the most part or um well, I would say that Oberon you would have noticed that the door over here. I guess let me let me just drag y'all back over. This door to the sinkhole room. You could have sworn that that was open the last you saw it, and now it is closed. Hey, door. Oh, okay. door, door. Is that a problem we want to deal with now or that we want to deal with later? Uh, you just want to get it over with. I mean, if we get too damaged, we'll probably die when we go to fight the blood foam. I yeah, but... Or it could help us kill the blood foam. Yeah. When has that ever happened? It can not happen now. And look, hey... What if whatever's in here comes to us while we are fighting the blood foam? That's true. It come okay. up behind us. All right. So what are you doing? I gently open the door. All right. You open the door, and you look in, and. Uh, you know, as you sort of scan the area, um, just from this little limited view, um, the same Mitflit corpse that uh, Jason created in this room still appears to be here. Um, right there. Okay. At the bottom of the sinkhole. Um, but you honestly can't remember for your life what... Uh, what position it was in compared to what position it is in now, so you don't know if it's moved or not. That is the only uh, that is the only thing you see in here. Well, uh, everything seems the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna step inside. All right, you step in. You would see that there is a door up here in the north of the room. Um, there's a bit of collapsed wall over here um, that you can see sort of leads outside. There's a window, arrow slit window right there. And then, yeah, there's slippery, muddy sinkhole slopes. Uh, and then there's also a set of double doors right there. Okay. You said there's a sinkhole? Yes, that's the whole center of the room is a giant gotcha. sinkhole. Um, and like it's it's everything in the sinkhole is the same as uh, last time. As far as you can tell, you never really looked in here. This is gonna step inside too. All right. The yeah. only time that any of you spent in here was Jason killing that one Mifflin. Okay. 
I guess I'm gonna circumvent the uh, the sink. You go around the hole. Yeah. So hey, just make my way around sec. the perimeter. Were those doors always yeah. there? Oh, they didn't want to open yes. that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jason's gonna hop on over there and check out those doors. Have we been in those doors? No, we have not. I don't think so. You have not. Oh, there's a very small ledge. Oh boy. Jason, you very carefully open this door. All right, you open the door. You peek around and you see a 15 foot stone walkway um, and standing in front of another set of double doors you see a 7 foot tall skeleton clutching a morning star standing yeah but that is all you can see you just sort of get a glimpse of it before you ooh, poke back, like pull yourself back around the corner. Guys, there's a skeleton in the room. Petra, Petra, yep. you have a better view of it. Okay. Um, you look, it, it's, you know, you can't really make out too many details, but this, the skeleton, uh, appears the 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 morning star itself appears to be like the the end is resting on the walkway at the skeleton's feet and uh -huh. it appears to be wearing armor made of gnarled roots bones and rusted metal um and it also appears not to be moving interesting um, I'm going to whisper past that information to my fellows. You have whisper past that information to your fellows. Where, where is Oberyn? He's up north in the corner with oh, the spider he's in the webs. Corner. Okay. I'm in the webs. <laughs> Thank you, Spider-Man. Very cool. I'm going to put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> no, Bully Maguire. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I, I come down to uh, regroup. All right. I don't know what to do with it. It still appears not to be moving at all. Should we burn it? Do I mean, undead sleep? Do we attack it? Just rush in and just start stabbing? Well, we can't see the other half of the room. There might be something else in there. Jason's gonna sneak. Sneak mode activate. Be as quiet as possible. Okay. You okay. are being quiet. Alright. He's gonna try and peek over as far as he can just to get a recon of the room inside. You peek over as far as you can. And you slip and fall flat on your face. Oh, do I fall but into the sinkhole? You, uh, no, thankfully oh. you managed to not fall into the sinkhole. Um, That'd be hilarious. But, Please uh, let me fall in the sinkhole. That'd be really like, funny. Half of you is in the sinkhole. Oh. Um, but as you like fall, your face sort of uh, looks <laughs> into the room, and uh, you notice as you are closer than Petra. Um what look like wooden struts that are lashed to the skeleton that are keeping it upright. Has the skeleton moved at all? Nope. There's a little breeze blowing through some uh, some windows, but uh, that's about it for movement, is the breeze blowing against it. He's gonna pull his ass off the ground. <laughs> is there a rock nearby? As soon as a rock nearby. Yeah. I'm gonna huck a rock at the skeleton that's being propped up. Alright, roll the hit. Alright. Unarmed? What kind of attack is this? Um. Sure, unarmed. Okay. 11. <laughs> 11. Clank! Clangs off of the skeleton's 
metal armor. Nothing happens. Guys, I actually think this is a skeleton. As it's like not animated skeleton. I guess we go inside. All right, come on. That's normal. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take one step inside, I guess. As you step inside. As you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton sways a little bit from being hit with the rock. Combined with the wind. And you see the elbow bends <gasps> as if to raise the morning star above its head. But no, in actuality, the skeleton is just sort of collapsing oh. into pieces, huh. clattering to the ground. It was just a regular old skeleton. <laughs> just sort of lashed together in, as some sort of a crude statue. Ugh. Well, that's not at all ominous. Yeah. And there's two doors to go. Yeah, come on, let's go to the doors. I, I Everybody say, quiet. Something you do notice about the Morning Star, Nyx, as you get close to it, is that uh, it appears surprisingly not rusty like the rest of the metal in this place. Oh. It's actually quite shiny. Hey, this stuff looks kind of nice. Um, Nyx, I would say go ahead and make uh, an esoteric lore check. 24. 24. Yeah, you recognize that this is a morning star, and as you you know look at it, you see etched into the handle a potency rune. This is a plus one morning star. Who wants it? Anybody want a fancy morning star? Should pick it up and wave it right up. <laughs> Oh, careful. Ooh. That's a little heavy for me. Is this a simple weapon? Um, um, a morning star is a simple weapon um, with the versatile piercing trait. I, for some reason, can't find whether that's something I, I can use. It uses strength, not dexterity. Is piercing, you said? Piercing? It can either deal bludgeoning or piercing. Versatile versatile P means it can deal bludgeoning damage or piercing damage. And then it's a plus one. I wonder... Um, I, hey, over and you said you lift... Is, you lift um, stuff off to another weapon? Like yeah. To shamans? I wonder if we could get lifted to one of our rapiers. Or maybe my rapier. Well, we can give it a shot. Yeah, okay. I... Do I have enough space to... Am I encumbered? Oh, I'm actually... Wait. You're pretty darn close to encumbered. I'm, yeah, I don't think I can carry that shit. <laughs> Never mind. No, you cannot. Can I take it? Yeah. You can certainly try. Let's find don't out. Let me drag it into your inventory. Damn. You appear to not be encumbered, Petra. Mazel tov. All right, so Petra now has the plus one morning star in her possession. All right, door. 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 All right. Jason's going to stealth up. Jason stealths up to the door. Ready? Got to crack this damn thing open. All right. Go ahead and open it whenever you're ready. Over it. Get in the room. All right, let's go. Oh, everyone's in one of them. Yeah, everyone's in each other. No. <laughs> Spread out. Hey, I was in the square first. Wait, where did Nyx go? Hold on. <laughs> he's, I'm he's deleting the skeleton. this skeleton. It's not necessary anymore. <laughs> All right. I'm She's living over. in the bones. All right. I'm going to 
Yeah, I'm gonna go back here. I thought I was in All right. space. Alright. Cracking open. Alright. Quietly. You open the door. And looking in, you see a splintered framing. Oh, Petra now opens the other door. Bathing the whole room in pale blue light. You see up uh, splintered fl framing in the ceiling and floor hinting that uh, there used to be wooden walls dividing this um, d this room's interior. But uh, now that those walls are no longer there, there's only a single large chamber full of rubble and swamp vegetation and mud um, piled up like horrid nests while well, you see in the center a uh, stack of rubble sticks and bones um, or well rubble and sticks and such right there and then a, a crudely built throne almost of bones hmm. against the wall in which is sitting a mitflit a, a particularly rotund mitflit um, with a strangely crafty crown, uh, a beard, and uh, holding a crude trident. And at this mitflit side uh, is a strange spider-like creature uh, around the size of around the size of a Labrador oh retriever. Oh, God. Um, and, uh... How many legs does it have? Eight. Um, and as you open the doors, this, <laughs> you get a glimpse of this, the, the, the individual on the throne, he's just kicking his feet, then the <laughs> door, he notices the doors are open, looks up at you. Ah! You have come here to strong at long last. The warriors of my people have arrived. You come to face me, the greatest threat to all of everything. Bow down before Skrong, ruler of the Mudlickers. I'm gonna curtsy. Wow. Same. Like curtsy a very well. sarcastic <laughs> curtsy. Curtsy. <laughs> Do the same. I'm doing the same. <laughs> make a performance check, Wait, hold on. Petra, and uh, Jason make a check. Wait, are you trained? Are you trained in performance? Uh, yes, I am. Can I follow the expert on this thing? I would say Jason make a heraldry check. Oh, okay. <laughs> heraldry? Okay, that's a, that's a 15. Oh, I got a 7. <laughs> I got rolled a down <laughs> too. <laughs> Jason, you know, you see Petra doing a very sarcastic curtsy um, that you can tell at least is sarcastic. It seems as though this mitflit is loving it, and you... You think it would be funny to follow suit, but um, you're much more used to bowing than curtsying, so it's a little bit. Uh, you almost fall over. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the mitflit doesn't seem to have noticed. <laughs> Sorry. So come near at my feet and prepare either for your execution. Or to swear your loyalty to Skrong! <laughs> Any chance Skrong could use a different pitch? No! <laughs> oh, great Skrong. Uh, we never meant to have this first introduction to you and your people. It was simply a massive misunderstanding. Petro, make a society check. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Give me a sec. Guys, get in the room. Come on. Uh, that's 21. 21. As you enter the room, Petra, and sort of look at this mound of sand and rubble in the middle, you think it looks kind of like a really crude map of 
Otari? Hmm. With, um, arrows drawn around it that look like they're indicating an attack from the direction of Gauntlet. I see. Uh, the <laughs> the Mitflit notices you looking at this and quickly uses his trident to just scuff away all of the <laughs> map. <laughs> you saw nothing! Oh, my master. What plans do you have for us? Hmm. Make a uh, make a diplomacy check. You're really relying a lot on my dice rolls this evening, <laughs> sir. <laughs> okay, that one was a nineteen. If you swear your fealty to me, then I can offer you all of Otari once we destroy it with my massive army. Can we just wow. like in, in candy, can we just let like, dead silence for like five seconds after he says that? Just like <laughs> Yeah. Of course, your lordship. I swear my fealty, and I'm crossing my fingers in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh Christ. Okay. Oh fuck, that was a nat one. No. <laughs> he squints at you. He scratches his disgusting chin and you just watch his maggots fall out of his beard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's distracted. Can I like hide in the foliage up here? You can try, but there's not really foliage so much as it's a couple of leaves on top of mud. (laughs) Okay, never mind. (laughs) He just buries himself in mud. I was never here. Jason just Arnold Schwarzenegger's himself into the mud. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Um. I do not think you are being truthful with me. Jason, as you get a little closer, yeah. a mitflit jumps out from around the corner oh. directly at you. From around the other corner, another mitflit jumps out. Ooh. And you watch as the strange spider creature rears up on its back legs. Strong will beat some servants into you! Roll initiative. Oh, here we go. Well, I think we all knew that was coming. Yeah, yep. I feel like we knew that was coming too. Just thought I'd try and delay it a little bit. <laughs> I don't like the evil laugh. I have been waiting for this fight for so freaking I've, long. Uh, oh, you don't even know. I've been practicing this voice for months. <laughs> God damn it. I hate you. So here we are at the start of the encounter with Scrong himself up first. So Scrong is going to pull from his belt a blowgun. Oh, Jesus. He is then going to (laughs) fire his blowgun at Petra. Yeah, that one tracks. That is a 18. I'm trying to remember how to do math. 23 to hit. Well, that'll hit. All right. That deals one point of piercing damage, and I need you to make a fortitude save. Okay. Uh, that's a 15. A 15. That is just barely enough to save against this poison that attempts to course through your veins. So you take no additional damage from that. That's nice. Um, And uh, let's see. And uh, at this point, Skrong is going to... um, He's going to... Fire his blowgun at Petra again. 
hits or? That is a 16 to hit. Okay, that one doesn't hit. All right. The blow dart clatters against the ground next to you. Rip. All right. That brings us now to Petra. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to start by trying to huck a dagger at this gentleman. All right. Go ahead and roll the hit. It would be my pleasure. That's a 12. 12, you say. 12. Uh, that, unfortunately, does not hit. I must say I'm shocked and appalled. <laughs> um... All right. The second thing I would like to do is I would like to grab my rapier, which I'm sure is not in my hand currently. All right. And then thing three is I'm just going to move over here. Okay. You do just that. Uh, And as you do, I would say you would all notice as Skrong sort of tries to pull another blow dart out and aim, keep his aim on Petra he has to steady himself as his throne that he's standing on uh, sort of sways a little bit under his weight. <laughs> that brings us now to this strange spider-like creature, which is going to first and foremost um, rush towards Nyx at an alarming speed um, and it is then going to pounce at you with its uh, with its jaws Nyx that is a that is a 17 to hit that does not hit all right uh, then it is going to use its second action to um, going to snap at you with its jaws again. That time, that is a 15 to hit. Uh, and uh, as its final action, it is going to attempt to disarm you. So, Nyx, what is your reflex DC? It's 10 plus my reflex modifier, right? Yes. 16. 16? It got a natural 20. <gasps> you are distracted trying to dodge out of the way of its jaws, giving it enough time to pull up one of its uh, spindly legs and just whoo, whack your weapon out of your hand. It clatters to the ground at your feet. Oh no, that was three. Oh, shoot. That was three. Okay. Um, pounce includes movement. Oh, I saw it's I was afraid, and, I was, I was yeah, was afraid you'd say attack. that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, Nyx, you have been disarmed, so you'll have to take an action on your turn to pick your weapon back up. Okay, okay. That is the end of its turn. That brings us to this Mitflit over here, who is going to, first and foremost, throw a dart at Nyx. That is a 15 to hit. No. All right. Uh, It is then going to It is then going to do that thing that you recognize that all these mitflits can do, and it's going to cast Bane. So it now has a uh, five-foot emanation around it of uh, sort of darkness. That is the end of its turn. That brings us to Oberyn. I'm going to spend an action to light my sword on fire. All right. You set your fancy new sword ablaze. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna do a fancy schmancy little. Uh, what's it called? The thing. Where is it? Hang on, I'm trying to. There it is. Dimensional assault. Dimensional assault. All right, all right. <laughs> Who are you targeting with that? Uh, Spider Boy here. Spider Boy. All right, all right. Where do you move yourself with your teleportation? Uh, let's see. It's half my speed, so I get 15. I'm gonna move behind it. Okay, if you're trying to go directly behind for a flank, that would be right here. Okay, uh, that's 15 then. Alright. So it is now flanked. So go ahead and make your attack. Okay, nope. And then, is that just a... Oh, it's just a melee strike, okay. Yeah. That's a 21 to hit. A 21 does hit. Go ahead oh. and roll damage. That is six points of slashing damage. All right. Plus an additional... Uh, hang on. I'm trying to figure out how to... Uh, it's an additional 1d6 of fire. Yeah, how do I roll? Is it slash R? Uh, I don't yes, know. Yes, it is. It is? Oh. Okay. So that's an, an additional point of fire damage. An additional one point of fire damage. All right. Yeah, it is quite heavily damaged by that. Oh. Um, as you just whoo, teleport behind it, whoo, slash it across, the wound might instantly cauterize from the flame, but it is a pretty gosh darn deep cut. Uh, and then do I have one or two actions left? Uh, or, or none, I mean. Uh, well, dimensional assault is one action, so you have two actions remaining. Oh, I thought it kind of is too. All right, uh, I'm going to strike with my curved blade again. All right, so this one will be at multiple attack penalty. That's oh, another 21. It's a 21. <laughs> Hot damn, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage again. Two points of slashing. Four points of fire. All right. This oh, spider-like thing is now bloodied. You have one action remaining. No, that was my last action. I, uh, oh, right, uh, right, you set your sword on fire. Right. right. I forgot about that. All right, then. That is your last action. That brings us now to Jason. You are face-to-face -face with the Mitflit. All right. Uh, I will attempt to feint him. All right. Go ahead Fake and roll that's Deception. That's good. Right, let's deceive this bastard. And that's okay. against its perception DC, correct? Correct. Let me check this thing. I'm a scoundrel. Uh, faint. It is going to be against perception DC, correct? All right. Don't fail me. It failed me. Uh, it's going <laughs> to be a 14. 14 is just barely oh! enough for success. <laughs> All right. So... It yeah. is off guard, aka flat footed, against Flash your next melee attack. Yeah, and I think you have special stuff due to your um due to your rogue your scoundrel yes. thing. Uh, I can't remember see. what it is, because I can never flat -footed remember. Flat footed until the end of my next turn. Uh, and flat footed until the end of your next turn. Yeah. Uh Alright. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh Right, uh Double Slice here. Yeah. Alright. Double slice. Here we go. Alright. Dagger and rape here. Here we go. Uh, oh, they both absolute shit fucking rolls. <laughs> um, the um, the dagger is gonna be. Oh, where's my? Uh, my dagger is gonna be uh, eleven to hit. Eleven, unfortunately, does not hit. All right, and then the rapier is gonna be a twelve to hit. A twelve to hit. When he's off guard, maybe. Unfortunately, just barely oh. misses. All right. It keeps whoo, 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 
dodging out of the way, even though it's sort of stumbling around off guard. All right. That brings us to Nyx. Okay, I pick up my weapon. All right. And then I try Two to remaining. attack the spider creature. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. Okay, that's pretty good. That is... 22. 22. That does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. That is six points of damage. Six points of damage. This spider thing is mortal. Extremely mortal. I will try to hit again. All right, go ahead and roll to hit. That is not going to hit. <laughs> What did you get? That is a two plus two, four. Oof, no, that very much does not hit, <laughs> unfortunately. But you can see the the animalistic fear in this creature's eyes. That brings us now to this Mitflit, who is face-to-face -face with Jason. Uh, this Mitflit is going to, first and foremost, cast Bane. So, let me just draw that five foot, and then uh, I need Jason to make a will save. A will, okay. Well, I save it, let's see. 16. 16? That is just barely enough to succeed. Oh. You are not affected by the bane this turn. The Mitflit is then going to slash at you with its short sword. That is a 10 to hit. That doesn't hit. All right. We're having a duel right now, guys. Relax. <laughs> that brings us now back to Scrong, who's going to shout out, um, going to shout out, Bite, bite, no! <laughs> uh, and he, it is that he is then going to um, fire a blow dart at Oberyn. We're killing his dog right now, guys. This is great. Oberyn, that is a 24 to hit. Oh, man, that hits. All right, it hits, but it does not crit. So, you take one point of piercing damage, and I need you to make a fortitude oh. save. That's not bad at all. Yet. That's a 23. 23. Yeah, you can feel, wow, whatever he stuck, he's just stuck you with, you know, you know poison when you feel it, but you also know that if you rip it out quickly enough, like you just did, then it won't affect you. Um, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, Scrong is then going to just sort of, And as he growls in anger, he's going to uh, cast Bane. And uh, that is the end of his turn and his throne. Once again, he has to keep himself balancing on this rickety throne of his. That brings us to Petra. Okay, I don't know what exactly this would be. It's kind of a stride, but I'm going to explain it to you. Uh-huh. I would like to take a running start and then baseball slide into the throne to knock it down. Okay. Um, I'm going to consider this... I'm going to consider this a tumble through. Okay. Um, so yeah, go ahead and make a tumble through. Let's find where my modifier for that is. Acrobatics. Is it acrobatics? Okay. Yes. That is a 17. A 17. All right. Yeah, you run yourself up and you just whoosh, slide through the sand and into one of the legs of the throne. Um, go ahead and roll damage for an unarmed attack. 
Okay, that did four damage. Four damage. All right. You slide in and you kick the leg of the throne and it's almost, almost completely out. Like, just even the slightest nudge, a sneeze might be able to knock this leg out of the throne completely. That gives me panache, right? It does indeed. And I need you to make a will save against Bane. Okay, that is... 21? 21? Oh yeah, that's a success. So, Wonderful. You have two actions remaining. Um, It's going to take multiple attack penalty, right? Uh, I... Yeah, yeah, I would consider that an attack. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, try and stab him with my rapier. Because I'll get... If I use it as a finisher, I'll get the finisher damage anyway. All right. That is a 17 to hit. A 17 just barely hits. Nice. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. Okay, it's seven piercing from the rapier. All right. And 11 from the precise strike. Okay. All right, all right. Yes, Skrong right now is mortal and he um, is angry can i use my last action to kick out the chair you can certainly try that would be an unarmed strike oh boy sure why not all right Fuck it. well that's only a four so unfortunately that does not that does not end up connecting as, uh, you know, the, the throne, actually, as Strong is reeling from your attack, sort of bumps around a little bit. So as you kick, the uh, leg of the throne sort of gets, it, it, like, gets removed for a minute as the throne sort of almost topples over, but then it quickly topples back onto the leg, um, just out of, out of your kick. What a gentleman. All right, <laughs> that, that closes it for me. All right, that brings us to the strange spider creature uh, in between Nyx and Oberyn. It is going to look around between the both of you, and it is going to run and pounce at Jason. Busy with the um, mid play. Oh, fuck! <laughs> So, Jason, you are currently caught off guard oh. by this <gasps> as it pounces at you with its the claw on the end of its spindly legs. That is... Right, I gotta... Do, does it automatically give me the off guard? Yes, I just gave you off guard. Thank yeah. you. That is a 25 to hit. Oh, that hits! All right, but thankfully it does not crit. Very okay. low. So, uh, that is... From the claw, that is seven points of slashing damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, and it is going to then strike against you again with its claw. That Ooh. is a twenty-two to hit. Ooh, that even hits. after multiple attack penalty. Um, so that is. A, that is a lovely, lovely nine points of slashing damage. I am at the threshold of mortal. All right. And that is the end of its turn. That brings us to this Mitflit over here, who is going to swap out a dart for a sword as one action, as a second action move over to Oberyn uh, bringing the Bane with it so Oberyn I need you to make a uh, will save a will save you said 
Yes, indeed. Oh, boy. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. You are not affected by the bane, and the midflit is going to slash at you with its sword. That, right there, is a nineteen to hit. Oh, uh, my AC is nineteen, so that does hit. Damn it. Oberyn, you take three points of piercing damage. Three. Whoa. And that is the end of that Mifflet's turn. Oberyn, it is now your turn. <clears throat> hey. Daddy, Sp pick up! Spell strike. All right. Go ahead. What spell are you using? Uh. <laughs> oh God! You know what? Just because I need to. Um. I'm gonna be using echoing weapon. Echoing weapon. All right. Uh, that cannot be part of a spell strike. Oh damn! I thought it was any touch spell. No, it's. Well, hold on. I don't think so. I think. If I remember correctly, it's... You know what? It did change. Let's see. Um, okay. Uh, rather than needing to use a spell that is a spell attack roll, you can use any. You can use a harmful spell that can target a creature or that has an area burst cone or line. Um, and Echoing Weapon does not target a creature. It targets a weapon. Uh, okay. So, so does it have to be a damaging attack? It's, uh, it sounds vague. It so, um, it has to be a harmful spell that is vague. Um, hmm. I I would say that since it just says harmful, that that would include I mean I I would say that would include something like daze. Um okay. that like has harmful effects. Um Yeah, in you don't have case, any prepared right now other than In that case I'm just going to use produce flame. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll to hit with your spell strike. All right, and then a spell strike is that's just a strike, right? Yep, yeah. regular old strike with your curved blade. Oh no, that's a twelve to hit. Wait, Ooh. actually, actually. Hmm. I'm going to use my hero point. Ah. Wait, no, shit. That only works for checks. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. I, I mean, you can what? still use it to reroll your strike. That's true. I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right. If you don't use it, you lose it. This is true. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> the same thing again. One in twenty okay. chance, baby. All That's right a then. Five percent chance. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, you're still getting used to this weapon, and the mitflit takes full advantage of that. Damn it! Uh, you have one action remaining, and your spell strike now needs to be recharged. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Uh. My final action, I'm going to Arcane Cascade. All right. That brings us to Jason. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Um, still off guard because of my ability. Yeah, when does that end? Is that is that the end of your turn, right? End of my turn, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna double slice. All right, and I do, I believe, need you to make a will save against Bane. Ooh, okay. So will save. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. All right, you are not affected. All right. Dagger coming in first and All foremost. Right. Double slice. Dagger is twelve. The <laughs> twelve, unfortunately, just barely misses. Rapier, uh, coming in next. The 19 to hit. Okay. 19 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Right. Let me get some damage in there. Uh, why does it keep adding two? These just roll it manually, whatever. It, I, I do have sneak know. attack, right? Yes. Oh, uh, that's seven points of damage to that midflit. Seven points of damage. This midflit is mortal. Mortal, okay. Uh, I'm going to remaining. Use... I'm gonna use my stride, my final action as a stride to just. Ah, oh, I'm surrounded! Get the spider off me! I'm gonna run back here. All right. You are no longer flanked. Okay. Phew. That brings us now to Nyx. I got the spider! <laughs> and I run after the spider. All right. And I'm going to try to hit it. All right, go ahead and roll the hit. 17. 17 just barely hits. That's 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. You run up behind it, screaming. It turns just in time to see your blade entering one of its many eyes as it <laughs> squeals out in pain. The fuck was that sound, Cam Smith? <laughs> <laughs> And Scrong just, like, th there's just a, a zolly shot on Scrong as you watch his face turn to the purest anger and horror and sorrow you have ever seen as he just shrieks, BITE BITE NO! Now, we make you feel bad. Next, you have one action <laughs> remaining. <laughs> um, I've got the exploit vulnerabilities on the mid -flits. All right. Go ahead and make your esoteric lore check. 27. 27? Oh, yeah. You you know, you know, remember everything that you've known about these creatures. They're just self-loathing, horrid things with a weakness of two to cold iron. That brings us now to this Mitflit here, who is going to, as... His first action, uh, he's going to expand the radius of his bane to 10 feet. As his second action, he's going to stride behind Petra. And as his third and final action, he's going to strike at Petra with his sword. Can I... Petra, oh. you are currently off guard. Oh, yes, right. I'm going to Next attack. gets her thing. Yes. Sorry, I was muted. I was like talking Sorry. about... <laughs> it didn't come out. That is a 22. 22, that does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, that is... Nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Petra... You feel something cold and wet on the back of your head suddenly just appear on the back of your head as you hear. <coughs> you turn around just enough to see that Nyx has uh, eliminated a mitflit that was coming after you from behind. You know, I didn't need new hair dye. <laughs> I was trying to help. That's very rude of you. <laughs> I'll remember this. <laughs> That brings us around to Scrong, who is going to, in anger, um, going to first action, pull out his trident. Uh, second action, he's going to expand his bane to 10 feet. Oh, hello. Thank you. Expand his bane to 10 feet. And as his final action, he's going to strike at Petra with his trident. That 
is a 25 to hit. Well, that will hit. All right. The trident deals to you, Petra. Three points of piercing damage. This is not a very effective weapon. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not unhappy about that fact. It's just not. <laughs> you would also have noticed at this point that Mitflits are not particularly physically adept creatures. They don't seem to be the brightest either, so I'm not sure what their strengths are. <laughs> That's the fun part. There aren't any. Uh, Petra, as the beginning of your turn arrives, I need you to make a will save against the Bane. Uh, of course I do. Um, okay. That is a 25. A 25. You succeed. Um, yeah, can I just, like, stab him? You can certainly try. Let's see what the digital dice have in store for me, shall we? That's a 25. A 25. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. That is seven damage. Seven points of damage. You stab Scrong right in the knee. <laughs> and he just drops his trident, grabs his knee, goes down on his other knee. The throne collapses underneath him, and he just starts rolling around on the floor crying. Scrong is done! Scrong is done! They, you want to make us feel bad about it, Cam? Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> Petra, you have two tar two actions remaining. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Why the can't I Scrong's move? Oh. bane is no longer active. As okay, well. I'm gonna go here. Mm. And I would like to address this mitt flitty fellow. <laughs> All right. Are you done, too? The Mitflit looks feverishly between the two of you. Ikata! Rokkike! He does not look, uh, he does not look like he's surrendering. Fair enough. And I'm gonna huck a dagger at him. Alright, go ahead and roll the hit. Well, that's only a six. Actually, you know what? Oh. No, I'm going to use my hero point, because I would All really right. like if this worked. All right. That's a 19. A 19 that does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Only two damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not very much damage. Yeah, uh, but he knows I'm serious now, so I feel better. That brings us to this Mitflit's turn. Uh, he's going to... Um, first and foremost, uh, going to strike at Oberyn. That is a... That is a 23 to hit. That hits. All right, Oberyn, you take four points of piercing damage. Oof. Uh... Second action is going to be um, is going to be a stride at Petra, um, which will also be followed now by a short sword strike against Petra. That is a natural twenty. Um. Thankfully, actually, does not no, get a crit card. Wait, actually, mm -hmm. can I use a hero point and make you reroll that shit? I thought uh, did, if you haven't used your hero point already, I don't yeah, have it. I'm gonna use it. Reroll that all shit, All right, Cam. all I'm right. Gonna, use my hero <laughs> point. That is now just an eight. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't hit. <laughs> all right, then that brings us to Oberyn. Oberyn, I need you to make a will save against the Bane. Oh right. no! I need a chance to give Cam the middle finger. And, and that was the opportunity. Too. I deserve Dirty it at 20. this point. Dirty twenty. Oh yeah, you are not Bane. Go ahead with your yeah. turn. I like that as a party we've collectively said, "Screw this one fucking midflip." 
<laughs> he won't die. Uh, spell strike. All right. Uh, you've not recharged your spell strike yet. Would Son you like of a to take bitch. an action to do that. I'm going to take an action to do that. All right. I spell strike. All right. Produce slam, I'm guessing? Yes. All right. Oh, that's a 10 to hit. Oh, that is a natural one, oh, in fact. Oh, God. So uh, let, let's deal you out a crit fumble card. See if oh, this boy. turns wow, the tide of battle. Wow, maybe I should use my, uh, you have your put left over? <laughs> <laughs> See if this turns the tide of battle back into the direction of the Mitflits, though I doubt it will. Card number 33. That was a melee attack. Winded. You go to... Make your spell strike, but oh man, as you're trying to channel your magic, oh, you know, you're still missing some of your blood. You are fatigued. Oh, my blood. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you are fatigued, meaning that you take a minus one penalty to your AC and saving throws, um, and you recover from fatigue after a full night's rest. Oh, That's a really fuck. rough fumble. <laughs> God damn uh, it. All right. That brings us to Jason. Uh, fuck this midfoot. In How is this midfoot looking down here? Um, damaged, but other, but like he's, he's adrenaline fuck. powered. Right yeah, I now. only he's got, I only, okay. I only have 30 people stride over to him. Make a, make that will save. He's now flanked. Make that will save, right? Yes. Let's say that will save. Go on. Let it be super high. 11. <laughs> 11 is unfortunately a failure. You are baned. Oh, uh, I'm Meaning that you take a minus one status penalty to attack rolls so long as you are in the air. Oh, I feel violently inconvenienced. All my bones hurt. <laughs> double slice. All right, go ahead and double slice. I go with a dagger. 25 to hit. With the 25 does with hit. And go ahead and roll the second right, one. Wait, I'll roll the rapier first. Yeah, let's do that. Double natural 20. That's a nat 20. All right. Go ahead and roll the damage for your first attack while right. I roll you a crit hit card. First attack is going to be a d4 plus sneak attack. Uh, that's a four. Plus sneak attack on him is going to be seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. All right. And let's see what your crit card is. Right, crit card card is number four. That uh, was pierce. a piercing. Yeah. So heart shot, triple damage. <laughs> And it takes 1d4 oh, no. persistent bleed damage. Not that that matters, as you just slash at its hamstrings. It goes down, and you just straight through its heart. Wait, I haven't rolled my rapier dice yet. <laughs> it has one HP. It's dead yeah, as fuck. It takes, on top of that, it takes uh, nine points of damage. He's dead. How much it is, is so going to desecrate dead. the corpse? It is so unbelievably dead. You are no longer baned. And combat is over as Scrong continues rolling around on the oh. floor and crying. Oh. And as you... I won't say relax, but as you sort of take this in, that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh. Oh, God. wow. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Jason, how are you feeling? I'm hyped up on adrenaline right now. I can't. I don't have a lot of feelings. Fair, fair. Uh, Oberyn, how are you feeling? Silently screaming inside. Also fair. Uh, Nyx, how are you feeling? Pretty good. She's adding some spider legs. Oh boy. Oh fuck! I really <laughs> forgot about that. And uh, last but not least, Petra, how are you feeling? You know, um. She's feeling good. You know, this is the first time that I feel like I've gotten my mojo back. Like, it hasn't been just like a pure death trap of a fight. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Less good about the spider legs. Mm. <laughs> all right. Well, then, that's all I've got. Um, yeah. That's all I've got for this evening. Rip. All right. It's fun. How are y'all feeling as players? I know it's late, so we'll keep it brief. I'm I'm having a good time. I feel like that was a very balanced time. <laughs> it down like that. It very much went in your direction. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We don't it was usually have that.